Sir, between uh, January 2020 and November 23, 220 foreign visits have been made by various union ministers. <coughs> and these visits have substantially helped India's standing in the globe. But sir, out of these 220 visits, only six visits have been made to Latin American countries. <coughs> uh, Brazil in May 22, and then Panama, Colombia, Guyana, and Dominican Republic <coughs> in April 23, and then Uruguay, Brazil in June 23. So why, sir, this important part of the globe is being neglected, particularly when China is making such deep inroads in Latin America? And I think uh, we have much affinity and similarities between Latin America and India. So I think the Honorable Minister, uh, I would like to hear from him what needs to be done to enhance this. Honorable Minister. Uh, sir, I thank the Honorable Minister through you for the interest he has taken on Latin America. I would like to say that uh, the visits he referred to are actually visits I have myself undertaken. In many cases, not the first, uh, the first ever visit by any foreign minister to Colombia, to Guyana, to the Dominican Republic and to Panama. Uh, I would like to assure the Honorable Member, sir, that government actually uh, is very committed to developing uh, our ties. Uh, one of the reasons why there have not been that many visits is obviously a matter of distance. But having said that, today our trade with Latin America is nearing $50 billion. We have a very significant uh, flow of uh, people there. There is a lot of services trade which is taking place in Latin America. Uh, we have also uh, designated special conclaves for which Latin American delegations come here. So I would uh, certainly uh, be confident uh, that uh, we will see many more uh, visits to Latin America, not just by me, but by my other ministerial colleagues as well. Other ministers and constitutional functionaries? <laughs> certainly, sir. There was slight murmur because you addressed the honorable member as minister. Oh. But uh, you are known to turn out prophetic. Sri